Well, CBN international correspondent George Thomas is in southern Lebanon. He joins us now. George, what's the significance of the area you're in? Well, uh, Gordon, as we come on the show, in the last 30 minutes, Israel has targeted, uh, targeted the ridge of Al Qiyam, uh, right there in that distance, right where you see that that ridge. Six uh, strikes in that one particular area. Behind me, Gordon is all Hezbollah uh, territory. This is the village of Al Qiyam. I am in the uh, Christian enclave of uh, Kiala, and uh, probably about let's say two and a half kilometers, uh, two and a half miles rather, Gordon. In this direction is the Israeli town of Metula. From Metula, just in the last 30 minutes, Israel launched at least six uh, uh, either mortar shells, uh, probably deeper into the, the southwestern uh, quadrant of Lebanon. But this area behind me in the last couple of days, Gordon, has seen uh, extensive strikes by the Israelis. Why? Because this is all, again, uh, as one uh, very longtime member of South Lebanon told me, uh, this is the playground for Hezbollah. Uh, and this is the sort of the, what, you know, what we're dealing with right now on the, on the Israeli southern uh, South Lebanon border. Well, what are you hearing? Are, are people there expecting an all-out war? Uh, look, both sides don't want an all-out war. Uh, the folks in this community, South Lebanon, uh, they don't. I mean, you know, they, they, uh, they've nicknamed uh, the last five months what Hezbollah has been doing. They've been uh, waging a war against the, uh, the antennas of Israel. There are major antennas on this side, very close to Metula. Hezbollah has been trying to hit them uh, over the last five months. Look, I think everybody in the region knows that if there was, um, you know, preparation for a full-scale war, Hezbollah would have done it. So far, they've got a huge arsenal of artillery and ammunition, much more than Hamas has. Uh, obviously, both sides don't want a full-scale war. They want some kind of a negotiation. Now, keep in mind, in this direction is a very important landmark. It's the Latani River. And in, back in 2006, when the two sides, when the last war between these two, uh, uh, between Hezbollah and Israel uh, happened, there was an agreement, sort of the UN 1701. And the whole idea, Gordon, was that uh, Hezbollah would not in essence, be in control of this entire area. They would be pushed back beyond on the other side of the Latani. That is what Israel wants right now. Why? Because you have hundreds, hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, Israelis who have been forced since October 7th to evacuate from the northern part of Israel. How long can they stay away from their homes? We don't know. Obviously, Israel is trying to tell uh, Hezbollah and the government of Lebanon, look, we need to create a buffer zone to get Hezbollah way, way beyond the, the, the Latani River. Well, Lebanon has a significant Christian community. You've been talking with church leaders in the area. How are they dealing with the fighting and what did they say about the possibility of more? Yeah, Gordon, they say, look, they just cannot believe it that once again Israel and Hezbollah are at war with each other. They say this has been, this has been going on for 50 years. They have been in a, in a state of war for 50 years. Uh, okay, maybe for a couple of years they've had uh, some semblance of normalcy, but they're just tired of it. In fact, one of the main leaders, uh, the, the head, the patriarch of the Maronite Church, went on television and confronted Hezbollah and said, look, did you guys consult us Christians uh, whether we want war? Of course we want, we don't want war. One of the largest churches here in this enclave, I had a chance to speak to him uh, yesterday to talk about the history of Christianity and what they are praying for. Uh, Gordon, take a listen. Here's what he said. St. George's Church was established in 1890 during the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire came and went but this church and the Christians of this area remain. We have been through a lot of wars and persecution. I'm positive nothing will move or remove us from here to what we dearly love, and that's our faith and our land that are protected by Christ. Uh, and in fact, all throughout this part of southern Lebanon, Gordon, you see these beautiful hills of South, uh, South Lebanon. And on many of the hills, there are these huge crosses that Christians have erected, and almost every hour you hear the church bells ringing. Keep in mind, they're surrounded by Hezbollah, and yet they say, we are not going anywhere. You will not remove us by any chance. We are going to continue to stay here, and we're going to continue to pray for peace. 
Well, George, uh, stay safe, and thanks for this wonderful insight. That's a story I don't think you're going to see anywhere else. Thank you, George.